boxing class today. Just gonna hit the buttons here. Hi, happy Tuesday, guys. Thank you so much for being here and for tuning in for our live unboxing. Um, we have a, what is more than a year in the making to unveil today. And it's a sort of a ribbon cutting of sorts because it's something that we worked on for a long time and have been excited about for a really long time. And now they're in the stores and they're online. Hey, I see some friends tuning in. Hey guys. And so we wanted to do just like a celebration class to show you what, what the palette program is, what they are. Um, and we also wanted to share a, a surprise. Um, a lot of people worked on these, like the entire company at John Bede worked on these and Michael's worked on these. And this joint effort came together to bring these beautiful colors. And it's like a celebration of colors. And so we have those folks here today. They're gonna say hi. Um, and on my mat, what I have is just some of the colors. So there's a lot of them. And to kind of guide you through it, I'm going to switch to show you really quick. Here we go. OK, so this is just a little bit. Oh, yeah, I see you guys and saying hi in the chat. There's so many things to show you. So um, I just put some of my favorites out on the mat. There's no way I could fit them all on this one page. So we created a guide that shows all the names, all the colors, and so you guys can see exactly what's there, what's uh, available online. It has all the codes so you can shop online. And then to kind of celebrate, we did a um, PDF launch. So this is just like an exclusive PDF that you can use to take any of the three packs and turn them into some beautiful fringe earrings. And it has two designs in here, like two variations that you can do. And so just a little celebration of colors. Makes great gifts. I know we're all getting into that season. But yeah, so these started, we started working on these more than a year ago. And what we did was we came up with palettes and then we looked at the seed beads and we matched seed beads to these palettes. We started coming up with names. Um, lots of folks at John Bead worked on them. Michaels took a look at what we came up with and they made some changes and they made some edits and they had some ads. And so this is the genesis of a lot of effort from a lot of people. So when you walk into the store and you're trying to pick colors, you have this little gift from us to say oh well this is and it has a name and it has inspiration and so we're going to be creating a lot of classes a lot of content that um she can show you new and different ways that you can use some of these some of these beautiful pieces and so i have on the earrings that we did with this one so just to give an example of what you can do just color blocking which is really trending right now and i feel like if you were to just walk in grab a palette grab some thread needles. And we also have a precious metal findings line that is also new in stores at Michael's. So you can level up your design with sterling silver, 18 karat gold plate, stainless steel. So all of these um, really great findings, not just in ear wires and things, but everything. So from clasp to ribbon ends, to head pins, jump rings, all of that. So everything you make, you can make very special. So in addition to the earrings, we have, let's see, as many as six classes ready to go. Three of them are already online and I think three are coming really soon. Those are our November classes. We just submitted those, but I have one of them here. I'm just gonna show you that too. So it just makes color a snap, right? Grab your palette. Stitch it up, grab some crystals off the wall, and there you go. And then throw some precious metal findings on it. This is a sterling silver toggle with gem rings. This is our workshop in November. This is the uh, glacial crystal. So yeah, so many things. Um, I was going to see if I could check in with the boardroom and see if I could introduce you guys to some of the people that worked so hard on this program for us. And then we'll talk more about colors and. Yeah, there you are. Hey, Danielle. Hey, guys. This is us. So this is a small, <laughs> there's a bunch of us who've worked on the, the packing here, and um, they're seeing your work for the first time. So these are the people who are packing all these vials and all these boxes, and they've been doing it for months. So um, on behalf of John Bede, we wanted to thank everybody and make sure they had a chance to see you um, actually launch them. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. 
Thanks for having us, Danielle. Thank you. And thank you so much for the beautiful palettes. Yeah, so we thought we would just take some questions from you guys. We've shared in the chat the PDF that has all of the colors. If you want me to dump some of them out, we can take some suggestions for what you want to see closer. If you want to see all the classes next to the palettes, we can do that. I thought that might be kind of fun. I can answer questions about, well, actually, that's a good point. Why don't I share what they are just in general? Because I know we kind of breezed past. Um, we talked mostly about the colors, but what they are are 13 gram vials of, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I thought that my screen was up. They're 13 gram vials of check seed beads. The sizes are different. So you'll see some that are all like 10 0, some that are all 11 0. And then we have some where we changed it up. So lots of our classes and designs mix up the sizes. One of the ones that stood out to me was this one, because this is a nice gold complement where you have an 11, 8, and 6. And we did a really cool wavy herringbone class where we mixed up the sizes. And so this is a really cool way to show, hey, I have all the colors I need to go and finish that design. So ones like this, and then there's some that are all 6-0, some that mix up eights and, you know, maybe two tubes of eights and one tube of 6-0. So something you need for every project will be there. And I'm seeing lots of folks say classes. So I'm going to grab what I have in front of me so far, because we've done, we have a lot in work still, but here's the ones that I think are already on the website starting with our class on the 14th. So this one is a great example of one that used a mixed size palette. And that palette I have in front of me here, and I used a lot of it. So it got um, lots of love. I used almost all of my eight But this one has a, a 10, six and an eight in it, which is a really great combo. And it's really cool, um, like almost copper lined amethyst, some crystal, and then you've got some, what is an, like a copper lined aqua. So one of the things I wanted to point out about the colors is these were rare colors. And Carmi was saying right before we got started, something I'd forgotten was that we, we just basically went for like the best colors and put these in here. They're ones that are, they're a little bit like more, um, just kind of on the rare side from and they are all Czech Preciosa so they're just beautiful beautiful well-made and uniform in size anyway that's the one I used here and of course the classes all have if you're looking for like where's the pdf for this one the pdf for this um when you go to sign up for the class at michaels.com classes if you see the materials list the very first hyperlink on the materials list is your um, PDF. So you can open that PDF and in the PDF also has all the SKUs. So everything you need just to go find this and get started. And then I threw some precious metal toggle on this one. And I used some of our jump rings and head pins to do this little accent here. So all the bells and whistles, just getting perfect for holiday gifting right here. Um, what else? What's next? So there's a really fun one here. This is our first November class. I'm just grabbing my favorites in order of my favorite. <laughs> so I just finished um, finished this one recently. It's a basket weave. And how cool are the matte metallics? That's something that um, I was very excited to have available to work with. And this is another one that you can grab that PDF. It's a free class that we're doing. Um, I believe it's November 4th. And it uses this one. How cool. And then, so you've got the shiny silver and you've got the matte silver and the matte gold. And the cool thing about these matte colors is they actually match some of the other sizes that are in the regular program. So you can, you know, if we were missing one before, now you have an extra chance to match up those sizes. I know sometimes you're looking for the same color. So that's available now. And of course, all the, I'm still pulling those crystals in. That's a check crystal. And Millie just dropped in the chat, the PDF. That's a link to it. And just in case you're having trouble opening it directly in the chat, so you can pull it off the website there. Um, one that I haven't worked with yet, but that I wanted to highlight because it's so pretty. I love that we are getting more green. 
So I've been hoping for more green and more brown and that we delivered in this one. So that came out and almost every palette has a new shade that has not been seen before. This one I'm going to, I'm looking forward to making something very special with this one. Um, and then, you know, just like the staple colors are all there. This one I thought looks like bumblebee colors. It looks like a honeybee. You could put a honeybee charm on there. Some gold findings. Um, I'm going to grab our workshop for October, just right here. That one uses this palette. And this one has a, like a, what's it called? A transparent ruby. This is a hematite, opaque hematite, and uh, another metallic gold that's not a matte finish, so a shiny metallic. And just perfect together. And I went with a, another uh, Labrador crystal on that one. 18 karat lobster clasp. So these are, these are like ready for gifting because they're very, they're just like made so well and they're just high in everything throughout. It's really fun, really inspiring. And that's the ten, size 10 seed beads. But if you like working with larger ones, here it is in 8 I'm using this palette. And another thing I wanted to highlight is how much you get in, in these. So 13 grams, we decided 13 grams was the perfect amount because usually you can get two projects or maybe even three out of there. So here's what I have left after making this entire bracelet. It's a lot, right? Same with this one. Barely even scratched the surface there. So I feel like they go a long way and they're just, they just take the guesswork out of it. Beautiful designs just instantly. Now let's see what else. I have a few more sitting here. I, I went a little bit overboard on this other one. This one uses more than one palette. So this is a netted rope. And what I did is I brought in one of the colors, which was just like a black, matte black. And I had that one in front of me too, if I can find it. That's this one. And I used the gray as the points. And then I grabbed 6O. And one of the 6Os I grabbed was like a hematite with um, what's like a matte gray. If you guys can see that, it's a matte AB gray 6O and an opaque black one. It's really gorgeous. And that one I have right here. That's basically those two together. And this is Halloween. This is our second class in October. So I'm just getting very festive. And if you're looking right now, if you're designing for Halloween, if you have a Halloween palette, that's ready to go. This one will be a very cute leather on one millimeter leather because it's all 6 0. Do a little barrel knot, it's a button, just instant ready. And so, yeah, those are so far what I've got to share. Um, we have a few more classes that I'm currently working on. And I always post little sneak previews. Um, so I'll definitely be doing that. Um, some that I haven't used yet that are my favorites that I know I'm gonna be using in the near future. Here's another blue palette. So again, I used this one, but um, here's another really gorgeous blue. This is a very cool, like almost denim, a silver line and then a cobalt. That would be a very cool combo in like a fringe earring. In fact, I'd love to do this design in those colors because you've got the silver sparkle that you can add for those rows. That seems like it'd be really gorgeous. And the fringe earring tutorial, this one, I see a question in the chat about that from Deanna. Yeah, so this one, currently we're dropping the PDF in the chat. It's also on, um, we'll drop a link to it on the blog, but we're going to put um, this together as a class as well. It's currently not on YouTube. I think we're gonna just do it as a class and I'm not sure if it will be, um, a December class or maybe just a bonus John B class that we'll do sooner. Um, we're, we're still in the planning stages on that, but the patterns are already available. And there's also a, a sister pattern to this one that's like a, a diagonal stripe. So this one has like where there's just kind of color blocks, just I really wanted the color to be the focus. So I didn't go too crazy with pattern here, but we do have one that has like a diagonal stripey pattern and it's in the same PDF. Yeah, and I just, I can't wait to see it in that blue. I mean, it's just gonna be very striking, I feel like. It's gonna jump out really nice. 
what else? More inspiration. Oh, so the ones I'm going to use. Here's what's on my desk right now that I'm going crazy with. So uh, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do like a stitch up where it's like big little um, beads together. And it maybe will have like a button closure on it. I'm not sure yet. But this one is definitely on my list. It's got an 11 and like a, it's almost like a lavender. And then these two beautiful amethysts. So that's going to be something very beautiful. I'm thinking I might combine it with some tanzanite. Um, so something accented on there, like with these, because they just, they go so nicely. Or maybe even, maybe even that one. Or both. So that's what my current using right now, one of them. And um, another one that I wanted to highlight is we're always looking for a good solid 8 palette because we do a lot of 8 stitches that are just like a beautiful herringbone or a beautiful peyote stitch. So this is one of my favorite of the 8 And this one has all of the January feels. So this one's definitely um, gonna be made into something for December. Um, so these are, that was more for January, January ends, but for December, I'm already working on projects that use these guys. So this is, uh, I wanted to point out another, another thing about, you can combine the two together. So if you need an 11 out, but it only comes with like sixes, you can always bring those together. <laughs> Giving you frozen vibes. Yeah, Susie, I agree. Totally frozen. Because we all design for family that's, you know, whatever they're into, you can create a piece for them that's just special. So like a grandbaby that's into Frozen, so true. And what else? What else can I share you guys? Um, does anyone want me to just maybe get them out of the tubes and see some beads up close? What's your favorite? Um, looking for uh, inspiration there on like what you'd like to see more of. I've shown you my favorites. I missed one favorite while we wait for you guys to, to type. I'll show you another one. Very cool. This is a copper. So now we have all three of the metals in that. These are the ones that I'm most excited about. So like matte gold, matte silver, and then matte copper. And so you could do like an all metallics if you wanted to. Very cool colors in this one. Oh, um, here's one that looks like ice. It's all mixed up ice colors. Um, pinks for October. This one is one that um, that we really liked, and then also a couple more like that. Another one's in blue, but brings in a six zero and a ten zero mix. This one is really fun. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the winter blue is so great for Hanukkah. So there's just so many gorgeous palettes. Um, I wish I could fit them all on the mat, <laughs> but um, there's some unique adventurous ones like bringing in the oranges with the reds and the ruby. That's pretty cool. This one also caught my eye. Now these are the ones that ended up in my, in the box that I put in front of me, my, my box of favorites here. Well, let's see, there's a few more. Let me grab from behind me here. Um, who loves earth tones? Because I love earth tones. Earth tones are back. And these are definitely delivering on that. I thought these were so cool. And yeah, so I was just going to see, um, Carmi, did you have anything, any other like uh, leads you want me to share? Or you know what, Danielle? Um, yeah. You know, I, I've been saying in the sidebar that because, you know, we all got to design them and, and trade colors and whatnot is um, the one that Millie and I thought would be Halloween, but then we quickly realized it was the monarch. Yep. Mm -hmm. This one, we I think we called this monarch butterfly in the PDF because that was our original name for it. Perfect. But it could be, it could absolutely be for Halloween. The little ghost charm or a little pumpkin charm. I've seen those on the wall at Michael's. How cool would that be? Um, and I don't know how many of you guys get the e-blast, but there was an e-blast today that came out in, um, it had a couple project inspos in it. And one of them was a peyote stitch bangle. And it used our three packs. It used the, the verbena mix, but how cool would it be in this one? 
Danielle, I'm laughing because um, we've got a few people who are concerned about their credit cards um, based <laughs> on the presentation, but also um, Dina raises monarch butterflies, so I'm pretty sure she'll be cleaning up this row. Yes, definitely. <laughs> And I think there's a bunch of other beautiful colors that also feel very butterfly to me. Um, I'm going to grab these. It's really hard to single out my favorites. It really is. But um, just getting into the earth tones again, that AB copper, that copper line crystal AB right there with the olive green. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, love that one. This one feels very monarch. To me, it seems like it could be or not a, not even a monarch, which is another type of butterfly. Um, and then browns, earth tone browns with a little pop of blue there. This one's particularly cool looking. I like this one. This one uh, color is called black diamond copper line, and it is a very versatile color. It has a cool glow to it. It can look brown or it can look black in a design. I'm gonna dump that one out because I feel like the plastic is hiding its beauty. It is among one of my top, like all the, all the copper line ones are kind of my favorites. Um, and this one particularly is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Little sparkles to it. And anything called black diamond, I mean, how cool is that? But it can be gray, it can be brown. It's really gorgeous. This is the copper line crystal there in the center. And then in this mix with it is copper lined amethyst. And they paired that with topaz, silver line topaz. That's just gorgeous. Yeah, so has anybody seen them in the store yet? I'm just curious. Uh, if you've seen them, did you grab any? Oh, I know. I've seen some folks saying they're not in the store just yet, but they will be. They're coming. Um, and of course, they are all online now. I checked every single one. I saw them all. Um, the shipping's pretty quick too. I've been uh, if I run out of something and I order, I get it pretty quick. Yeah, that one. Oh my goodness, love that one. But what I actually would do, just because I'm obsessed with copper line, I would take and do that even, and that would be like an ombre. So there's an ombre up from the, the clear copper all the way up to the black. Put that purple in the center. And then pair that with like a, a terra white, like the one that's in the center here. And that would be a really good bangle in that style. Also in the e-blast today was a another one that we did a while ago. Actually, it was, I think honestly, it was from November 2020, if I remember. It was flat chenille. And that is in the e-blast too, a link to it. That was a really, really cool design that you can mix up um, small bead with large beads. So I like to do that with 11-0 or 10-0 and a 6-0 bead. And that's what's shown in the sample that's in the e-blast today. Danielle, it looks like a lot of people are definitely seeing them in their Michaels and yeah. hope um, seeing them online. Uh, because it's my favorite, would you mind pulling out the earring, the fringe earring pack? Yes, yeah, let me grab that one. Because it's just this one. And I can I, talk a little bit. I really didn't think we were going to get to um, produce it, but it looked like everyone else liked it as well. So this is my favorite. You designed this one, right? That's my pack. That That's your be, pack. Yes. Yeah. So I want everyone to help me sell this one out first. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, it's going <laughs> to sell itself, right? This one was, it was the first one that I grabbed. It stands out so bright. Yeah, and since those, it is, it's so me. It is, and it stands out like where I would grab these two together. I would have to like have those next to each other. So Danielle, um, I, I wanted to answer some questions from the sidebar because of course, Please, yeah. um, you saw when Danielle opened the package that the vials are not marked. So you will, if, if you are really anxious, um, you will have to label them or just keep them in the boxes that you came, that they came in but you will not be able to buy them separately. So the three pack um, palette program, it stands alone. And so if you see a palette you like, and you think you're gonna want to use it again another time or you know years from now, you should just pick up the second palette. 
I have told many people who've asked me about this program, John Bead was very generous. They put some beads in this program that are so expensive that they would ordinarily have never appeared um, uh, in, in any kind of a violinist store. So they, they're definitely um, uh, special and um, they're one of a kind. And I, I really, I hope everyone loves them as much as we do. Yeah, I know I do. And some of those beads that stand out to me are definitely like the copper lines and the um, the color line. Those are the ones that um, I know because I shop a lot for beads <laughs> are the, the colors that I was like, whoa, we're including those. Yes, because they're my favorites and they're definitely a pretty high-end beads. So those colors, I'll be on the lookout for those. And then, um, well, you know, I thought maybe I'll just chat for a second about the design that's in the PDF that we put um, put out there today. So it's a really, really fun one. We did it a while ago, and you got a sneak peek of it when we did our packaging class. We did a packaging class where we taught how to make all these little paper inserts, and these were like the eye candy for it. So that's how long we've been working on these, because that was a year ago. But um, this has all the instructions for like, how to start your ladder stitch, how to do your brick stitch, how to finish up the loop at the top for your ear wire and how to do all the fringe. So that's for the, this one. And then at the end here, a little bonus one of a stripe pattern that looks like that. You could do it both ways. You could do it as a color block or as a stripe. And this one's a kind of cool, like um, back and forth brick at the top, a really unique look. And we have some glamour photos of those that we'll be sharing too. Yeah, and Cindy's saying, I love that. Cindy, that is so true. Okay, she's saying, in her experience, it's always your favorite bead that's the most spendy. And I am guilty as charged on that. <laughs> I, I tend to like just hone in on that bead and that's the one. Yep, for sure, definitely. And you know, I did, we should just remind people because I don't know when we posted it, but if you have signed up for classes coming up this month, and you don't have access to the three pack program, Danielle um, already made a list of alternates um, that you can pick from the regular wall. And of course, if you, if you attend any of the classes, um, it's up to you to choose the colors and the sizes that you like. So feel free to you know, join the class, even if you don't have the three pack itself. Absolutely, yeah, we did that. We put a, and I will, um... I will repost it or send it to anybody who, who can't find it. It's a quick link of all of our October. So October is this one, this one, and this one, these three here. I put alternates for all of these colors in that. So you will be able to make them, even if the three packs aren't quite in your shop yet. And, and if uh, they can't come online, then yeah, definitely these are still classes are still absolutely doable even if you don't have access to the three packs just yet for all of them including the fringe pattern too um let's see what else can i share there's so much um the the findings is a major a major addition there are all kinds of findings that um i'm just excited about being able to match and it kind of gets highlighted here but I was able to match ribbon ends and ribbon ends can be kind of hard to find with the jump rings and the head pins and the lobster claw. This makes a really polished, professional, high-end looking finish. So I had a really good time with these. And every time I finish a piece now, it's just kind of a no-brainer for me. I know what to use exactly to finish it. And I've already got a little style. I like to make chains with, there's lots of different size jump rings. So I like to make a chain that's like different 10 millimeter, six millimeter there is what I'm showing. Chain was made with jump rings. Exactly, yeah. That's how I did all these chains. I just make them myself. I open up a jump ring pack. And another one, I think I wanted to share um, about the palette designs is among the, the folks that you got to say hi to there that helped design these. Um, a lot of you guys know Lena Gillespie and she's here, I see her. <laughs> she helped design these too. So some of her heart in here as well. So they're just um, 
it just inspiration galore here. And she has an eye for color. She really does. You have a, if you've not found her, um, uh, her Instagram is like just eye candy for colors. It's beautiful and inspiration for design. Let's see. Yep, Lena is awesome. Yeah, everyone's saying, everyone's saying hi to you, Lena. <laughs> oh, and Danielle, I can add to that. Um, I've got, Lena's got 12 boxes waiting for her too. So expect to see some inspiration from her. Even though she swore she wasn't a beater, she has become one now. Yes, she, you're a seed beater now, Lena, for sure. <laughs> you are, and a great one at that. So yeah, um, I'm happy to answer any questions anyone's got about the three packs or design in general. Oh, and um, Lena's website, we need to drop her links here. Actually, Lena, would you mind dropping your links in the chat so everyone can see the correct spelling and stuff? Thank you. Yeah, I definitely want to check in to see what she's got. She creates so many beautiful things. And let's see. Um, I can show a little more detail on this one. One of the cool things about having coordinated palette is when you're teaching, though for me, I'm always looking for ones that stand out from each other so that it can be really easy um, to explain like where step ups are and where the points are in a design that need to stand out from one another. So different colors can really help with that as a teacher. I really appreciate having access to things like this. Oh, you would do this one in the Monarch colors? Yeah, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> And so which one? I saw someone had a question. I hope you have a class for that bracelet. Everything here is a class. All of them. They're all a class. Um, I don't know if November's on the website yet. We we just submitted them like last week on Thursday and Friday. So I don't know if they're up yet. But they will be very soon if they're not already. And there's an earring that's not here that I was going to show. We did um, I actually have it down. It's 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 a uh, one of the versions of it is here but I brought in some crystal and silver. That's another November we've got going. There's a, there's a flower version and that's just one of the bonus patterns that's gonna be uh, in that class as well. But yeah, so let's see. Um, I think like as like a final, like maybe, well, I'm gonna grab the brightest one I can and just dump out those colors. The one that has some depth to it. Let's see, what do we got going here? Um, Hmm. Oh, here's a neat one. There's one with some iris with the copper, the metallic copper. Now, a lot of our mixes, our 60 mixes that are currently on the website, um, they have these colors mixed in, but you you can't get them individually. And one of the ones that really stood out to me was the metallic copper in the 60. Well, now you can find it along with the brown iris that matches the brown iris that we had in Tenno all this time. So now you have all of the colors individually, but how cool is this one? These are some of the favorites that we put together that um, were among like the ones that I would get asked about the most from the mixes, for example. So there's your metallic copper and that gorgeous iris brown bronze color. Oh, hi, Pat. I see Pat just joined. And then there's like a cobalt metallic. This will be really neat. Let's stitch that up like that, grab one of these as like the small, maybe in the flat chenille. How cool would this be in a, a color block flat chenille? Well, I would need probably like at least a week on each palette to come up with all the ideas that I want to do. So the good news is I have to come up with four classes a month. So I'm no shortage of inspiration at this point. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna switch over and say hi to you guys from here so you can see me where's oh, there we go thank you thanks maria yeah so um all the packs or at least some of them i've been pulling them down to show but all of these packs are currently on in the store they're on michaels.com all of our classes can be found at michaels.com slash classes and if you have any trouble finding pdfs or you have questions or you want alternate color suggestions you can always find me um, I'm at Danielle Wicks Jewelry on Insta. It's the best way to reach me because I usually have that one popping up on my phone. Um, and then 
let's see, what else do I have to share? If you have questions about um, like the classes that we have coming up, or if you have suggestions of techniques that you would like to learn, I'm always interested in hearing that because I, you know, I have to come up with a, a new idea and um, I might have an idea that month or I might have four ideas and it can help steer me. It can help steer me to, you know, put more content out there that covers what you're looking for and you'd like to learn, especially going into holidays. So we're going to need some gifty stuff, right? All right, so um, I'll just check in with Carmi. Is there anything else that um, maybe I forgot to cover that, or I can show or questions? No, Danielle, thank you. Thank you for everything. And um, thank you for making our team here feel like a part of today. Um, oh, yeah. I'm getting a question of what are the beads called? And I believe, I, I have to actually go to the website. It is officially bead landing. And I believe they, on the website, you should be able to find them under bead landing. Chuck. Yeah. Beads. You know what? I, I'm not 100% sure, but if you got the email from Michael's today, they link right to it. But you'll definitely find it under Bead Landing Seed Beads. They're all there. Yeah, they came up for me if you're just searching from the search engine as Check Seed Bead Three Packs. And it was three dash packs, P A C K S. Perfect. Danielle, thank you. Um, thank you for doing this on a Tuesday. I hope you have a sunnier day in Seattle, Seattle area. Yeah, I got a little bit of sun this afternoon, a little cloudy right now, but I heard there's some sun expected later. Okay, thank you. Thanks, you guys. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in class.